I can tell it's really tough to relive. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? <sighs> I mean, you know, those are real emotions. I feel um, what me and Katie, you know, had, we were always consistently us. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what, you know, made it so, so hard to, you know, because it was so, it was such a real thing for us both. After you said goodbye, what were you feeling right then and there? Here we go again. <laughs> Um, you know, I've been accustomed to heartbreaks. So, um, you know, I was just feeling every single relationship that I've done and obviously having to restart mm -hmm. again is, uh, you know, never something that you want to do. And especially the one with Katie where I've never even felt these feelings before. So it was even far longer and I was just like, this can't be happening, you know what I mean? When you put so much effort into something, like, you just want to see it succeed. And, you know, I, I'm still waiting for someone to, you know, just pick me for me, pick me for 100% me. Looking back at your journey, do you ever wonder, like, where it went wrong? Or can you pinpoint a moment? I think that's the hardest part, because we never had a bad moment, mm. not one time. Every moment was consistently getting better. Every moment was consistently good. There wasn't this or that. It was just, it wasn't enough compared to any other guys. And I can't, I can't do anything about that. You know, one of my favorite conversations of this entire season was actually the conversation you had on your one-on-one -on -one with Katie, talking about the challenges interracial relationships face um, and the struggles that just come with being in an interracial relationship. Right. And you were so courageous for talking about that. Were you surprised at all about how Katie reacted and how well you guys connected? Yeah, honestly, she killed it. I mean, every word that came out of her mouth, I was just like, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but, you know, when talking about things like that, like, I want to be realistic. Like, mm -hmm. this is what we're going to head into. And, like, me being me, like, I wasn't going to shy away from that. And also me being a black man, like, I'm not afraid of shouldering or having to bear that as a black man to represent us, like, there's no way I was going to shy away from that. So, like I said, that's exactly who I am. You know, you said you deserve to be chosen. And you do. Thank you. And you will. I hope so. <laughs> I truly do. I've always believed in love. Mm -hmm. I'm a hopeless romantic. Um, you know, I grew up watching rom-coms with my mom, so um, <laughs> I wanted to give this my full effort and um, see if we can fall in love. And, um, you know, I think we got pretty damn close. Andrew, thank you so much. We really appreciate you being so vulnerable and so real with us.